hey the pin inspiration up here so the moment we've been waiting for is here um there was a post today by the eighth year community or the eighth year team um about the possibility to now um have these testnet versions of the checker um on a portal and the checker clients softwares that we can use now the how you can set up your node um, is quite well outlined so when you click on this link it brings you to this page and um, which shows you all the possibilities that are available to run your node so you could choose to run the node yourself um, on your windows pc you could also choose to run the node um, on a linux pc there is also a third option that you can do where you can run the node um, with a service provider so for instance this is what is called as a nodes as a service provider so here they provided some um, nas options so nas is basically means node as a service provider so they provided some options that you can use and um, if you would like to outsource and um, running your node to a service provider and um, for the sake of this video i'm going to try to cover all aspects um on my youtube channel so please like and subscribe um to my youtube channel so that you can get all these videos and all the methods that you can use um, to set up your ATM node. So I really like this image because it basically gives you a perspective of um, the two things that you would need. So basically the checker owner portal is where you purchase your license. So if you have already purchased your license and um, your NFT is already appended to your your MetaMask um, or your wallet address that you used in purchasing the license. And if that's not, if that had not been the case, and um, this way the checkout owner portal is where you're going to purchase the license. And then if you are making your tokens, if you are getting um, rewarded with a token, you would also use the owner portal to do the redraw. So the owner portal, like I said, is you are the owner. So this is what gives you control about everything that you are doing with your license. So if you want to delegate your license, um, to someone else to run the portal uh, to run your node for you if you want to on delegate someone else or to on delegate an, a service provider from um, running your lines and this is what you would all do on your owner portal so we're going to go in here and then you're going to see how it works so the checker client is basically what is doing the main um, work in terms of um, the resource that you are dedicating to the Athia to your Athia node to to do the jobs that are sent to it right so this is basically a very simple part i mean simple in the sense that um it's a plug and play that's how it's intended to be and everything that has to do with managing your your rewards and re withdrawal of your rewards delegating your note to someone else and everything you would do on the checker owner portal so now the checker owner portal is a web-based interface these are the two is what one difference that you would see i mean the checker client is the software that you would install but the checker owner portal is a web-based interface where you're going to do every managing um with your ethereum node now to begin with i'm going to like i said for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to um show you how you can do this um if you want to run this on your desktop so here if you come here there, everything is well outlined here what you would have to first do is to go to the checker owner portal so like i said this is a web page interface and um, so you can just click here um to go to the in portal so i'm going to go back because i don't want to lose this page i'm just going to right click and i'm going to go to click here and this is how the ethia portal looks now the prerequisite for you to be able to participate um, in the testnet is that you have an ethia nft license so if you are not sure and um, check my video if you bought a license um some time ago you should have received um, your nft now and um, if you are not sure please um check my video that i uploaded a, a couple of um days ago on how you can check or you, how you can check to see if your ethia nineties have been appended to your wallet and how you can also append this to your better work wallets so if you see the nft um appended to your wallet address then automatically or not automatically you should have received um, a license on your testnet um, address so the sepolia arbitrium network that would also allow you to be able to run this checker node so if you want to check this just go to sepolia.apiscan.io and then here you're going to paste in your wallet address and then you're going to click on search now when you click on search you would see that when you go under ERC21 tokens, you would see that um, a token, so an NFT has been added. So this is where you see, you see my token ID, and then you see the token is called an Ethia check license. And so if you do have this, then it means that you can participate um, in the test net. Now, the second thing that you're going to need um, is also you're going to need some um, test ETH tokens um, as sort of to pay for gas fees that you would be doing or you'll be running um, on your ethia node or on the service portal now to get these you can get because everything is here is on the test net you can get some free um ETH tokens that you can use for this so here you can also go to alchemy.com i would also paste the link 
in my description section and then when you come here you just have to put in your wallet address and then click on send me it and then you're going to receive um a minimum i think you're going to receive 0 0.5 arbitrium sepolia it tokens onto your wallet now um if you want to check to see so what is also very important is that this page you would have to register the registration is free i mean once you register you can send 0 0.5 ETH a day onto your wallet now in my case it didn't take very long for me to do this so you can see here i requested this um just exactly 11 minutes ago and um, if you want to see if this has arrived just come to um i think it's called sepolia i'm going to come back here it's called sepolia abyscan.io i'll also provide a link in the description section just come here and paste in your wallet address and click on search and then here under transactions you can see that i just received 0 0.5 ETH which means that um, the ETH that I requested has been appended to my wallet. Now we can go to the um, portal, the checker node portal. And then when you are here, um, first you're going to have to connect your wallet. But before I do that, because like I said, I'm going to be running this on my PC. So I would like to download the checker node client. So here there are two ways that you can download this. You can download this for Linux. And then in my case, because I'm going to be running this on Windows, I'm going to click on client for windows so when you click on this um, the download should begin so you can see here that the checker um, client software is downloading and um, it, it shouldn't take that much to download because it's not a very huge file now in the process of downloading I'm gonna go to connect my wallet so click on connect wallet and then here I'm using MetaMask so I'm just gonna click on MetaMask and then a window is gonna pop up I'm gonna put this here so that you can see it and which tells me um, which account that i want to use so in my case i have two accounts but i know that the nft is appended to the first account so i'm just going to click on the first account and i'm going to click on next and then it's going to ask me to allow the connection so i'm just going to connect this and then because currently i only have the ethereum mainnet um, as a network it's going to ask me to add the arbitrium sepolia network to my metamask wallet so that's very easy i'm going to click on approve here and then here, like I said, I'm on my main net, but now I'd like to switch to the Arbitrium Sepolia network. So I'm going to click on switch network. And then another pop-up is going to open on MetaMask and I'm going to have to click on sign. Please, please, please again, make sure that you are using the right page from the Ethia um, website so that no one sways you into stealing your NFT or stealing your token. So here I'm going to click on sign because I've already checked this and I'm very sure um, that's the right page that I am. So here currently you see that we are logged in onto the dashboard. Um, so if I go under license, I would see, um, you see that I have one license with this ID. Delegate status is free because I haven't delegated this um, license to anyone. If I want to delegate, I'm going to click on delegate and I'm going to do the next steps. But because I'm going to be running this on my PC, I need to make sure that I have downloaded and installed the Ethia checkout note. So Check a client. So you see that it's still downloading. I still have 30 seconds. I'm going to wait a bit for this to download and we're going to install this together. Okay, now, so for some reason, um, it tells me that it's a suspicious download, um, but I trust the ATR team. And I hope uh, before you accept this, this, please make sure that you also trust what you're downloading. It says that it's a suspicious file, but I know that this is not because um, I know it came directly from the ATR guys. I'm going to click download suspicious file. I think it is something that probably the Ethia team can check out because it, people would get a bit scared um, if they see um, this command. So I'm going to open this and then I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm going to run the installer. So here also I receive um, a warning telling me that Microsoft Defender um, smart screen prevented this app from running because they deem it as a potential risk. But um, like I said, I know that this is the right software, so I'm going to click on run anyway. And then you would have to click on yes um, for the installation to begin. So I'm going to pull this here so that you can see this. I'm going to accept the agreement. I'm going to click on yes. I'm going to keep the um, installation location the same. Create a desktop shortcut. Create a quick lang shortcut. If you need this, you can check this. If not, you can uncheck this. And I'm just going to click on install for the installation to finish. It's a pretty light file, so I don't expect that this should um, take that long to finish installation now the installation is done i'm going to click on finish and then 
it opened so the application opened automatically because i have two screens i'm going to move this here and um, so that you can see it so currently this is how the dashboard looks like i'm running status is offline because i haven't connected or any node or any license to it so if you go back to the instruction page this is also shown here and um, it says that you're going to have to create or import a wallet so i'm going to go to the application here and i'm going to click on create or import wallet so here it says that to create please create a new burner wallet use a previous banner wallet from a checkout client. So I'm going to create a new wallet because it's the first time I'm doing this. And then very, very important, we're going to kind of copy this wallet, sorry, this wallet address. So I'm going to open notepad here and I'm going to paste in my wallet address. So please make sure that you save this just in case um, you lose the notepad and you know that you have this wallet saved in a secure place. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to copy this. So now I have copied the, the wallet address or the burner address. I'm going to go back to my um, Ethia dashboard. So now I'm back on my dashboard. I'm going to click under go to licenses. And you can see that I have one license and um, that is not delegated to anyone yet. So I'm going to click on delegate and I'm going to put in the wallet address that I copied um, from the Ethia checker software. And then I'm going to click on delegate. So now a window pops up on MetaMask. So it tells me um, to confirm this. So this is going to be the estimated fees. Um, if you try this for some, so the first time I tried this, the I think the gas fee was even way more than what I wanted to, what the main transaction was. So just wait a little bit um, to get a, a reasonable gas fee. And then when everything is done, just click on confirm. So now it says on my moment, so you do not see this here, but I got a not notification um, that the transaction has been confirmed. So now you see that the delegates is pending. Delegate time is exactly what I did now. And then the total reward is 0.00 because I just delegated um, this node. So once I clicked on the delegate and once everything worked on successfully, you see here when I come to the Ethia software under the dashboard, I see a running status online. Delegated license is zero. Pending license is one. And then it tells me I would have to accept. So I'm just going to click on accept here and then I'm going to approve this. And then it says here, hooray, your license has been delegated. So now I'm going to go back to the um, dashboard portal. So one of the dashboard, it still says um, delegates pending. I'm just going to refresh the page, going to reload this. And then now you see it says that the license has been delegated. So when I come back to the Ethia checker software, you see that the running status is still online. Delegated license is one, pending license is zero because I already accepted this. And the license ID, um, you see my license ID, my own address, you see this as well. And also the time that I delegated this license. And then the operations, operational status is working, which means that everything is working very well. Now there's one thing that I also saw, um, um, I think this would be a very cool option to have here which is called a launch as startup so currently is disabled I, I cannot enable this i think maybe this is something that this, the team is still working on i think it's very good for instance for um, those of us who will be running this on a windows so that if windows is doing um, a software update for any reason and then your pc restarts or if you have to restart your pc for something you do not forget to reload the software so once this is um, enabled i would highly recommend that you you enable this function as well so if you were able to make it this far and um, it's a congratulations on setting up your ethia checker node on the testnet um, i think this project is going to be a hit it's a very interesting project from concept um to a re real use um case and then we are all looking forward to what is going to come in the next steps. I hope you were able to set up your Ethereum node. And if you encountered any difficulty, if you have any questions, please put this in the um, comment section. And I'm very, very happy to help you out. I would highly also recommend that you join the Ethia, um community on Discord. The team there is very, very helpful and would be very happy to help you out in solving any issues that you would have um, with respect to setting up your Ethia node or with respect to the Ethia project as a whole. And please like this video, share with anyone who would need us and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be uploading several videos about the Ethia project, being it from running a node on a VPS and um, outsourcing it to a different provider, setting this up on a Linux PC, um, how to withdraw um, your rewards, um, any then that I think any the community would need with respect to getting along with the Ethia node. I'm going to try as much as possible to upload this on my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one. Bye.